Hi Stampers, I'm Jill. Welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday and I'm part of the creative team for Stamping Jill. So anyway, I want to show you how to custom color the glimmer paper. And it comes with white right like this and you can see it's kind of iridescent the glitter is. These are some of our Stampin' Blends and they do really great at coloring in. I went ahead and chose Shaded Spruce and Cherry Cobbler for the colors I'm using and I like to go ahead and take the brush tip and go on one side just to see on a scratch piece of glimmer paper to see the colors I want. So that's what came out and it's more like red so I wanted to show everybody that um, sometimes they go a little bit lighter on the glimmer paper so you kind of want to try it out first. So I went ahead and colored this whole thing in the shaded spruce and then did the berries in the cherry cobbler and it, it looks really a bright red when you're all done. And I like to color it, instead of coloring it on the white, if you color it on the black, you can tell that you've got all the little pieces because it kind of goes down on the side after you cut it out. So it's you can really get the whole thing done up nicely if you do it on black so you can see while you're coloring. So let me show you the card I did. Here's the Merry and Bright stamp set and then the green and the red I love. So I used Garden Green and Real Red because I thought that really matched nicely. So I love the look of it and how fun and festive it is because you've got the glitter but you custom color the glitter. I've done another die right here that's got the stars and I went ahead and used the Daffodil Dark and the Daffodil Light on these stars. So I'm doing a little baby card here. So I'm going to use the balmy blue and just test the colors that you like on the glitter to see which one you like. If you like the lighter or the darker. So I'm just stamping these stars all over the place. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this, which was all white to begin with, and I custom colored it. You can see the back, how it kind of leaks through the back to get the colors. All right. And so let me see how I want this to go. I think I want it like this, kind of on an angle. And I went ahead and popped up a couple of these stars and I went ahead and colored these with the lighter of the yellow. And so it gives it a contrast. I love the way that this came out, but I'm just going to fill these in and then I'm going to add on top of that a star is born to the star because I love these stars framelits and it's so fun that you can custom color them whatever color you want. Okay, a star is born. Let's put it on the card itself. And you can even take your Stampin' Blends, which are alcohol-based marker, and do it on ribbon. So I went ahead and did some of the yellow on this polka dot of ribbon, so it's already colored. And I'm just going to do a little knot here on the ribbon. Let's go ahead and trim that a little more. I'm going to decide where I want the ribbon. <laughs> Let me get some glue dots. Anyway, that's fun to be able to custom color in. It's, it's got the same yellow as it does in the star. Isn't that fun? Just a quick and easy way to custom color your glimmer paper. So hope you've enjoyed this video on Watch It Weekly Wednesday and we'll see you next time.